idea number one is falafels and I'll have those with a salad tomorrow. So what we need is a tin of chickpeas, an onion finely chopped, two garlic cloves, one level teaspoon of cumin and I need some herbs so I need a tablespoon of chopped coriander and two tablespoons of chopped parsley which I'll get from the windowsill. I need one small red chilli and half a teaspoon of baking powder. I need to put that all ready in my breville here and mix that together and then pop it in the fridge for about an hour so that it's nice and cold and then cook it. So I'll show you it once it's ready. So here is the consistency of the falafel. So I'm going to put the lid on that, pop it in the fridge and I'll put it in there for about an hour till it's nice and cold. Um, I did end up using my old Philips food processor which I've had for nearly 30 years because the Breville just wasn't able to mix it and I ended up putting some water in. I put about six to eight tablespoons of water and then it was too loose so then I added an extra tin of chickpeas so it's made a bigger quantity so I'm not going to complain about that. So that's how I've changed the recipe and I'll show you it when it's ready. So here they are out of the oven. They look really nice. I'll wait till they cool down and I'll try one. There was three spare ones there as well, so I popped them on another tray. I put them in my Yorkshire pudding dish just because it's very non-stick. And I thought that just in case they decide to stick, that'll save any of them sticking hopefully. So they had 25 minutes in the oven, around 200 degrees in there. So 25 minutes was about right, I think but I'll taste one later and I'll put them in with my lunch tomorrow and I'll show you my lunch all ready for work. So here is lunch idea number one, all plated up and ready for work. So I've got three of the falafels on there. I did try one last night and they're really nice. Quite bland actually, not, not maybe enough chilli in there, but they'll be nice with more things for lunch. So I've got some tomatoes for speed, got some homemade coleslaw there so I'll need to sin for the coleslaw. I've got some ham there which will be free in protein and a little bit of pasta salad that I had left there so I'll need to sin for the mayonnaise that I've got in there. So that is everything. So that's my falafel ham salad for lunch today on lunch idea number one. That's the rest of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bag them up and I'm going to pop them in the freezer so that I can have them over the next couple of weeks or so. I've got some grapes there also for pudding today and a hi-fi bar. I've just ordered the new hi-fi bar, so looking forward to them coming. So this one's the chocolate cornflake crunch. Not sure if you can still get those, but I've enjoyed those. So I'm looking forward to my lunch today. So there's lunch idea number one. Meal idea number two is going to be bacon mushroom and sun-dried tomato pasta. I'm changing it slightly, so here is the recipe. And I am going to add 40 grams, it asks for 40 grams of sun-dried tomatoes, not in oil. I'm going to use roasted red peppers in here, which are free. I got those ones, I think it was Asda that I bought those from. 120 grams of uncooked pasta of choice, and I've chosen penny pasta. Four slices of lean smoked back bacon. I'm using unsmoked, but I'm using one of these little tubs from Asda, which is lean diced bacon. One small onion, finely chopped. Two cloves of garlic, crushed. 200 grams of mushrooms, sliced. 100 grams of cherry tomatoes, halved. A tablespoon of tomato puree and one cup or 240 mils of chicken stock, so I've got a stock cube out there. And then it asks for fresh parsley and fresh basil, chopped up a tablespoon of each. Spray oil, which I'll use my spray oil for that. 30 grams of Parmesan cheese, I'm just gonna use normal cheese, and that will be my healthy extra A, and salt and black. So what it asks you to do is to place the sun-dried tomatoes in a bowl, Cover them with hot water and allow to blanch until softened. So I won't need to do that with these red peppers because they're already ready to use. I will boil my pasta and reserve some of the pasta water, set it aside and spray a frying pan over a high heat with the oil. Add the bacon and fry until light and golden. Remove and set aside. Spray with more oil spray. Add the onion and garlic and stir until softened. 
add the mushrooms and a little of the stock. Keep adding the stock a little at a time. When that bit has reduced, so add some more until the mushrooms have caramelised. For this, you will use about two thirds of the stock. Remove the sun-dried tomatoes from the water, so I don't need to do that. I can just add the red peppers to the pan, along with the cooked bacon and toss to coat. Add in the fresh tomatoes, tomato paste and remaining stock, and cook until the fresh tomatoes are softened. Cook until that last bit of stock has reduced down. Add in the pasta fresh herbs and parmesan, or mature cheddar I'm using, along with the reserved pasta water and toss to coat. Stir until the cheese is all melted and pasta is heated through. Taste and season with salt and pepper as needed. And I'm going to leave mine to go cold so that I can take it for work tomorrow. So that is lunch idea number two and I'll show you when it's ready. So that's the sauce nearly ready. Now I didn't add any extra liquid. The 240 ml of stock was more than enough. I did add two stock cubes rather than just one. So one chicken and one vegetable. And I've got my pasta ready here as well. I'm just going to add my cheese to that. And then once that is melted, I'll add the pasta and I'll show you it when it's ready. So that's the cheese added. So I'm just going to let this boil away for a little bit longer, get some more of the liquid out of it. Now I've actually added two healthy extra A's of cheese. So it's 30 grams is one healthy extra A. So I've added two in there because that'll be more than uh, probably about four portions. So it'll be half a healthy extra A per portion. I just thought I would explain that in case I forget to mention it later. So that's the bacon mushroom and sun-dried tomato pasta already. That's the one for tomorrow, but I may well pop that in a pan in the morning and heat it and pop it in my food flask. And then I've got another three there to pop into the freezer for some lunches in the next few weeks. Idea number three is sin-free spicy sweet potato and lentils. So for this recipe you need 400 grams of sweet potato, one onion chopped, two cloves of garlic crushed, two teaspoons of ginger grated. I haven't got any ginger so I've got some of this in the fridge so I will use this instead. It's a puree. One teaspoon of cumin seeds, one tablespoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of chilli flakes, one teaspoon of turmeric, two cups of 480 ml of passata and the same of vegetable stock, so I'll use two vegetable stock cubes, one cup or 165 grams of brown lentils, I'm going to use red lentils, so that's what I've got in my cupboard, salt and pepper and cooking oil spray. So that is everything that I'll need for this recipe. So what we need to do is we need to pierce the sweet potato, add it to the mic add to microwave, <laughs> cook on high for five minutes and set aside or you can put it in a steamer basket and cook until softened. So spray a pot with cooking oil, add the onion and fry until softened, add the garlic, ginger, chilli flakes and cumin seeds, spray with a little more cooking oil and fry for further two minutes. Remove the skin from the sweet potato and mash with a fork. Add to the pot with the ground cumin, ground coriander and turmeric plus a little bit of the stock and mix to combine. Add the lentils, passata and stock and bring to the boil. Reduce heat and cover and simmer for 45 to 50 minutes. Season as needed with salt and pepper and serve with a choice of sides. So I'm going to just make that in a pot today. I do have a pressure cooker so I could have done it in that but I'm just going to make it in the pot which I think will be fine. It does take quite a while but my plan is to freeze some so that I've got some for a few weeks. Once a week I could have this and I'll reheat it and put it in my food flask for work. So I'll show you it when it's done and I'll show you it when it's ready for work. So that's it all together in the pan and I now need to leave it for 45 to 50 minutes to cook through and I'll show you it when it's finished. So that's it fully ready. So I'll put some in my food flask for work. So my plan is to have it with maybe a pita bread for a healthy extra bee. With that, it'll be really nice, lovely and filling, full of speed food and lots of protein in there as well. So that's the sin free spicy sweet potato and lentils. I've got four portions there 
and I'll keep one out so that I can have that on Thursday for day number three. So here is lunch number three and it looks fine reheated in the pan. I've got my flask there reheating with some boiling water in there and I'm going to take some of these Fin Crisp Original Sourdough Rye Thins. Six is a healthy extra B so I'm going to take them to have with it. So here's meal idea number four and it is some make ahead bacon egg potato breakfast bites. And for this recipe, this is from the Simon Eats website, you need 540 grams of waxy type potatoes, two spring onions finely chopped, one large egg, salt and black pepper, spray oil, three slices of lean bacon cooked and chopped. So I've got everything ready, more or less, and then I'm going to use this unsmoked lean diced bacon, I'm just going to use the pack. So to make it, you need to pierce the potatoes with a fork and microwave for 8 minutes until soft, allow to cool slightly, preheat oven to 180 degrees Celsius, cut in half and scoop flesh into a bowl and mash, add the egg, spring onion and season well with salt and black pepper, mix well to combine, grease a 12 hole non-stick muffin tray with a little spray oil, divide the potato equally into each hole and flatten down in the bottom of the muffin tray. Spray over the top with spray oil, place in the oven and bake for 20 minutes until very lightly golden on top. Whisk the eggs together, season with salt, pour equally into each muffin tray, sprinkle in some of the cooked bacon on top each muffin hole with a slice of tomato. Bake in the oven for 30 minutes until egg is set, season the top with black pepper. So that's what I'm going to make for lunch idea number four. So I'm presuming when it says pierce the potatoes with a fork and microwave for 8 minutes until soft, I'm presuming that means you have to leave the skin on, which I haven't, so I'm just boiling mine up in the pan. I've also got some potato left from the rest of the family's tea tonight, so I'm going to add that as well, and I'm just cooking off my bacon there as well. So that's them out the oven, and I've just double checked to see that they're not stuck, and actually they're coming out no problem at all. So look forward to having those tomorrow for lunch. So that's lunch idea number four. So lunch idea number five is one pot Marmite macaroni cheese. I'm altering the recipe slightly so that it doesn't involve butter, so that it's sin free and healthy extra E for the milk and for the cheese. So this is what I'm making today and this is off the Slim and Eats website. I will link all the recipes below for the Slim and Eats website. So for this recipe we're going to need 9 ounces of macaroni pasta uncooked, which I've got in there. A huge bag of macaroni that I got in my shop in this weekend. So there's 250 grams or 9 ounces. It asks for 1 tablespoon of butter, like I say I'm going to miss that out. 1 tablespoon of Marmite, which is free, I've got that there. 3 cups of boiling water, so I've got the kettle boiled ready. 1 cup or 240ml of 2% milk, I'm using 240ml of semi-skimmed milk there, so a healthy extra A of milk. 90 grams of strong cheddar, so that's 3 healthy extra A's in there. And it asks for 1 egg, which I've got there, and salt and pepper to taste. So what we're supposed to do is add the butter to the pan over a medium heat and once it's melted add the marmite and stir till melted and smooth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of milk and the marmite and I'll whisk until they're both combined. Then add the pasta and water and bring to the boil, reduce the heat and allow to bubble uncovered until the liquid reduces down. The pasta is cooked about 10 to 12 minutes. Do not turn the heat too low, liquid must bubble away to reduce down and cook the pasta. Add the cheese which I'm going to grate and keep stirring until the cheese melts and the sauce starts to thicken. Remove from the heat and quickly stir in the egg to prevent it scrambling. Season as needed with salt and pepper and serve with a choice of sides. So this is meal idea number 5 for work and I will reheat it in the morning and pop it in my food flask. 
So I'll show you once it's all done. So that's the Marmite mixed in with the milk. I was a little bit worried that it might burn, but actually it's been perfectly fine. So I'm going to add the boiling water and the macaroni cheese, cook that for the 10 to 12 minutes and then add the cheese at the end there. So here is the mixture after 10 minutes of bubbling away in the pan. I've kept stirring it just in case it's stuck to be fair. So I'm going to add the cheese, get that melted in and then I'll take it off the hob and I'll add the egg to make it nice and creamy. I don't think there was any reason for the butter to be honest. I suppose it would make it maybe slightly creamier but that will be four healthy extra A's altogether. But I should get quite a few portions out of this altogether. So I'm looking forward to tasting this and I'll show you when it's completely finished. So that's it all melted in, the cheese all melted in. I took it off the hob and added the egg so it's made a lovely consistency. So I'm going to bag this up so I can put most of it in the freezer and I'll take some to work tomorrow. So that's them all ready for the freezer. I'm going to pop one in the fridge for tomorrow which I'll heat tomorrow morning. And they're all, there's four portions that's made so that's one healthy extra E for each of those portions. Mm -hmm.